I started competing here in New Zealand and won a few events around the country, uh, won a couple of national titles in the junior division. And when I was 17 years old, I left school and packed my bags and I was off to Orlando, the mecca of wakeboarding to go and chase summers and pursue the dream. Yeah, at the end of my first season, I went off to Spain for the World Championships and came home with a junior world title. And then I did it again the next year. Moving forward from that, it was just 21 summers back to back, like pretty much traveling all around the world. Like I was living the dream. In 2014, we started some of the bigger builds and that's when the mega ramp came around. It was all about going big. It was all about doing the craziest tricks you can think of. It's how I wanted to show wakeboarding in its best light. I'd gotten so dialed in on my double flips that some of my teammates started amping me up and egging me on to go for something bigger. And within four or five tries, I landed the world's first double tantrum to blind. Getting back to Lake Ronix, we'd been filming a movie project called Prime. It was basically set out to be the biggest wakeboard film of the year. I'd already landed the double flip on camera. Unfortunately now, everyone knew I could do a double tantrum to blind and it needed to be at Lake Ronix. So we couldn't use the footage from Germany. We had one day left of filming. It was a Sunday morning, 6th of July, 2014. Brad Smela is used to long nights on the lake, but tonight he's here in the ICU. Paralyzed from a bad fall. His attempted triple somersault went wrong. In an instant, everything was stripped away. I woke up in the ICU a week later and found out that I was a quadriplegic. Straight away, I wished that my friends had just left me there on the lake to die. Like, I didn't feel like life was worth living. Everything I did was physical, from wakeboarding, the modeling and building and everything, like that was me. On a daily basis, I have to deal with intense nerve pains and muscle spasms, issues with blood pressure and thermoregulation. The hardest part was the mental battle. People kept telling me that I had to accept it but I hated that word acceptance. With my physical abilities completely stripped away, I was forced to look inwards, to dig deep. Through the worst situation I could have possibly imagined, I've managed to find true happiness, and I'd love to share with you how I found it.